Oh, I just have to click a thousand times because Twitch is a buggy mess. One second. chat. Uh-oh. Boom. Alright, let's see. Up right here. The beacon right there. Pop a treasury down here. Let's pop a village right here. The battlefield is gonna go right after start filling in stuff around the village it's right there spider cocoon we'll put it there great awesome i'm gonna grab my lunch real quick i'll be right back it didn't go through it better give it a sec be right back There it goes. Thank you everyone for watching today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. meadows down. Bada boom. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna save those for now. Things are going rather swimmingly. Okay. A highlight, though. You just want my food. Shoulder cat, shoulder cat. Oh, look at this. Uh, hold on, come out. In there. In there. Oh. Kippa, thank you for gifting that sub, buddy. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. This game looks addicting, dude. This game is awesome. This is a really cool game. Yep. It's so much deeper than I thought it was going to be. Crazy. Uh, let's put this... Here. Nope. Letho. You are not taking my food, sir. Sir. Hero! Hey, it's you, chat. So you can leave the resource bag open? Why not? I don't, you don't really need to. There's no purpose to during that thing. Donk. Uh, let's pop you there. Uh-oh. trying to steal Ko's lunch. That's that's my cat, Letho. He is also known as Letho the Stream Slayer. Commonly attempts to um, rip my lunch from my dastardly clutches. Yep.
Vereen. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much exactly, yes. That's exactly what's going on. Oh, wheat field. Great, we'll pop you there. Put the spider here. Can I put a beacon there? I can! Perfect! Okay. So now we just need to fill in some road stuff on each side. Road stuff. Like a village. Ah. Oh. Rock goes there. One more rock. I was late to the party and now I have no clue what's going on with the tile placement. Um, the tile placement is basically a way to uh, fill in the map while adding all sorts of bonuses and stuff to um, to what's going on. So the, the gameplay is basically you're going in this loop and every time you do, the enemy level gets higher. You're getting loot and all sorts of stuff to your, towards your character. As you kill enemies, you gain these cards. And these cards do different things from uh, buffing your character like these mountains do. If you can see down there in the bottom right, when we put these mountains near each other, it adds more HP. Um, and, uh, you know, there's treasuries where you surround with other tiles and they give you a bunch of loot. This persistent loot is what you use for the metagame, which is a be uh, base building mechanic that happens between the loop rounds. And uh, as you fight through and place cards, this bar fills up and then you can fight a boss. And that's kind of like the end of that loop, but you can keep going and keep farming. But the short of it is, is all of the cards are basically ways to change or alter your loop or buff your character, essentially, or get you loot. So what I'm trying to say is this game is basically exactly like Hades. <laughs> okay, let's put this here. We'll put this here. Okay. Oh, and the rock goes here. Perfect. So see, what's also cool is there's a bunch of like hidden stuff. So when you put three, uh, three by three of rocks or mountains together, it does this. And that forms a new three by three tile that then has a unique effect on its own. So it's pretty great. Cemetery spawn, uh, spawn skeletons. We'll put those down here. And there's also this, this meta mechanic with the base building where you can actually choose the cards that drop. So you can kind of alter not only how the world is built, but then like what options you get in building the world. Not doing it, Letho. Nope, not doing it. Can't have my food. Uh, okay. You're not getting my barbecue sandwich. Oh Lord, wait, stop. Oh Lord, things are going too fast. Fire the kit, fire the kitten. I will. Stop. Okay, you go here. You want the blood thing to be here. You want the treasury to be here. You want the mountain to be here. You want the beacon to be here. You want the wheat field to be here, what do we put the thing here? Boom, boom. Okay, good. Okay. Do you not have two ring slots? I don't, not in this uh, class. Yeah. All this stuff is locked. By surrounding a treasure, you unlock it, essentially. This is what we just did. An Oblivion card removes something like this bandit camp, if we want to get rid of that, which I think I do. You now have wood, could you go back to camp? I could, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this round and get more resources. The more stuff we do, the faster we can build and everything. So. Hells yeah.
Whoa! Okay, let's see. Boom! Yeah! All right, uh, let's take a look here. It's actually a little better. No, Letho. No, you're not getting my, no. It's my pop pack! Another village, great. Another treasury? Okay. What do you guys think? Spider Alley. I like it. It's Justin says, it's pretty rude to ask me to think, Co. Here. You're not wrong. Whoa. 32% attack speed. Boop. out here wrecking fools. Dicey, dicey. Hey, Ma uh, Maharaz with the 10 bomb earlier. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. Sorry I missed that. I think that was right before I went AFK. Thanks a lot, buddy. Don't. There's one big heal. Mm. Need more damage? Damn, the countering is real. So the only way to get the boss thing to go up is if I play cards. So if I just don't play any cards and let my guy go round and around and around, then 
Oh, 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 that would increase. Does does the enemy level influence the power of the boss, or is the boss a static power? Oh, it does. The boss will be stronger. Okay. Well, there goes that idea. <laughs> attack speed. <laughs> Must attack faster. Hey, Kippa! Thanks for gifting that sub, dude. Oh god, this is gonna be painful. I need a better weapon. only matters if I have regen, right? Maybe it works with pots, but... Yeah. I don't think the vampirism works. Oh. Eh, 15 evasion. That's worth it. A little bit less damage for 15 evasion. Ever since somebody mentioned that this uh, this thing sounds like Metallica, I get slightly triggered every time I hear it. Oh god, another treasury. Evading me, no vent for you. show we have right now is really nice. Um, we're not really hitting that hard, so I don't know if the vampirism is going to be super good. Problem, to be honest. I don't really have anything good right now. How does this have so few HP compared to that top one? Still doing it for damage. Two there for damage. Uh, let's try a little vampire.
Alright, we're changing things around. We're changing things around, chat. We now hit like that of a truck. Twenty-four percent. Oh man, but it's so much, so much less damage, but it's so much faster. What about this guy? Ten percent, ten percent. One more card and we're going to boss, so I think I'm going to let it sit for a minute here and see about getting us close to the next level. I'd like to do at least another round first. More damage. You can get fatigued if you're too fast. Wait, what? What's that even mean? Damn, we are hitting so hard. This is actually working, though. This, this build is kind of working. I'm still. Wait, what does loss count? Killed a thousand enemies, nice. Yeah, this this build is working, because we're hitting so hard the van prism's taking effect pretty pretty heavily. Okay, if we're gonna summon this boss, we should probably give it a try. Oh, see now that's what I'm talking about, man. Let's do that. We're gonna do that. Here we go. You ready? Now hopefully none of these are going to convert. Yep. None of those converted. Awesome. We're also going to level again. Thirty-eight to fifty-eight, but not twenty percent attack speed. Maybe I'll maybe I'll save that for the boss. Ah! I was really hoping we were going to get that shield. <laughs> we didn't. Yeah. 
Yeah, I need to get the vamp. I, my, I took my vampire manor cards out of my deck. I need to put them back in. I don't know if I can afford to lose the the fan prison though. What do you guys think? Can I afford to lose the fan prison? I don't think so. Not at this stage. A treasure chest. Nice. Nah, not very good, but nice. Nice replacement at the buzzer. All right, here we go. I don't know about this one. Without the shield, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. Source assortment this time. Yeah. Dude, awesome. Build! Refuge! What is this? Build it there. There is exile, even an exile hero. Don't be hard on the lost souls who have found their salvation in wine and gambling. Sit down instead and pick yourself a poison to drink. It's not why I'm here. It's so strange. This place and its surroundings are familiar to me. Now we're talking, or. So, did you make your living off the road? A bit of robbery, maybe? Or collecting bounties for some un someone's unlucky head? It's as if someone else knew and did all this, and now I have their knowledge and skills, and now I somehow, literally, have two aces up my sleeve. And I think I stole someone's purse, too. Ha! Wait, that's my coin purse! You don't believe me? Ah, oh, well. Feel free to come by if you want to discuss your new trade. I didn't become this good with knives by working in the kitchen, you know. Ooh, we can also build a smelter? Or a cemetery? Or a supply depot. Oh my god, we have so many things we can build. Um, the cemetery. <laughs> you look charming. Thank you. It's a nice place, calm. There are some people, but quiet ones. They look a bit grim, but they can tell you many things if you can listen. Yeah, thank you, guy that looks like the shrunken head from Monkey Island. I appreciate that. All right, we need 13 more rocks to unlock the new class, Necromancer. Oh, that sounds awesome. Uh, okay. Let's make the smelter, I think. 
if the Intel Center is built. What's the Intel Center? Right there. Maybe I'll save my resources. Plus 30 to base, base HP? Um, stay a while and listen. Uh, let's see, let's make a smelter. No, actually, you know what? Let's save up for this, because we're almost, or maybe this. We'll, we'll, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Farm is cheap, I already have a farm. I already have a farm right there. He's doing his thing. Um. Yo, oh, so he can't wear rings, but he can wear a boot? Can receive trophies after killing enemies in battle and exchange them for equipment in camp. Has 5% vampirism from the start. 10% bonus for any effect for every equipped item with the same effect. Wow. Crit chance. He's a critter. Oh, cool. He does critting. Excellent. And he has crit damage percentage. Oh, man. Cool. But no vampirism and no regen. Oh, my. Oh, and he has two swords. He dual wields. Oh, how cool. Well, this is going to be so awesome to play tomorrow. Oh, guys, thank you so much for being here today. This has been awesome. I really, really, really enjoy this game. This game is super cool. And I'm going to be playing this game all day tomorrow as well, at least uh, until noon, because I normally take a half day. By the way, Vichidir, thank you very much for your five bomb. But yeah, unfortunately, I got to go. I got a meeting and then I'll be back in about an hour for drop frames with Danny O'Dwyer the lead guy in the amazing series called No Clip. Very, very cool. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we'd love for you to hit that follow button. We're a happy, helpful, respectful community. We love meeting new people. First step is hitting the follow button, and I hope that you join us. Uh, on that note, I will be back also this evening around 6.30 p.m. ET. We're going to be doing our trademark cozy stream, which is just a chill stream where we hang out, generally drink some beers, and uh, I just play a few games while we, while we uh, wind out the day. Tonight, I think we're going to start with Curse of the Dead Gods. Play that for maybe an hour or a little bit. And then maybe switch over to some My Time at Porsche and make some progress there. So, yeah. Should be fun. Should be fun. Anyway, dudes, thank you for being here. Have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are around the globe. As always, thank you so much for spending some of your life here. And I will see you fine folks later today for Drop Frames at 1 p.m. Tonight at 6.30 for Curse of the Dead Gods My Time at Porsche. Or tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. ET for more. Loop Hero.